So the International Court of Justice just ruled in favour of South Africa's argument that it is plausible that the state of Israel is committing genocide in the Gaza Strip. Now, part of me is absolutely elated, but also a massive part of me really wants to say to all of the content creators on this app and all of the Zionists on social media who spread propaganda that claimed there was no genocide in Palestine, I hope you really realize the depths of the crime that you have committed and the shame that this should carry because ultimately for weeks on end whilst people were suffering and being exterminated in the Gaza Strip you chose to dedicate every single fiber of your being to ensure that those people continued being exterminated for shame. However in spite of the fact that the ICJ deemed South Africa's case to be plausible we need to temper our expectations because because ultimately they didn't call for a ceasefire or the cessation of Israel's military operations inside the Gaza Strip. Instead, they only ruled that aid must be allowed into the Gaza Strip, that Israel must punish the crime of genocide, and the court also ruled that Israel must ensure that no further crimes of genocide are perpetrated inside the Gaza Strip. And this is the core issue. None of these things are really actionable, and the state of Israel will just sit there and continue to pretend that they are not violating any parts of the Geneva Convention, in spite of the fact that to anyone with a working brain, it is incredibly obvious that Israel is committing genocide and has been since October the 7th. So once again, the system of international law has failed the Palestinian people, and it is likely that Israel will continue its brutal onslaught. However, Benjamin Netanyahu had already made it clear that even if the International Court of Justice had issued a demand for a ceasefire, he was going to ignore it. So, whilst the case may not have led to a ceasefire, at least the precedent was established that it is plausible that Israel is committing the crime of genocide.